Okay, so on to the fun stuff. Uh, for Newegg, I ordered um, this Fractal Design Silent Series R3 um, case fan. It's a 92 millimeter, 1500 RPM, and it has the white blades. So we'll be installing that in the case. I also ordered this Samsung SSD 850 Evo, 500 gig edition. Um, so that'll be what the uh, what Windows 10 gets reinstalled onto. Since that drive doesn't come with a uh, SATA cable, I ordered up one of those. It was with shipping. It was probably two dollars and fifty cents or something like that. And finally, um, I got this Mushkin eight gig DDR3. Um, it's the low voltage, and the timings are 11, 11, 11, and 28. And this is the the Eco2 version of that RAM. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Crack the computer case open here. The tools required to do this, you're gonna need a screwdriver with a Phillips head and wire cutters um, because we have to do a little cable management in there. So let's flip this around. Now here's that um, warranty sticker. I'll get get a good close up on it for you. Um, I had already broken the seal, so I kind of put it back on, so you could get an idea of what it looks like. But uh, it's right there, and it's some kind of security sticker that shreds when you um, when you try to lift it. So the way I lifted it, I had an X-Acto knife, and I just kind of um, scooped up from underneath it and uh, peeled it off and this will come off a lot easier since I um, just kind of pushed it back on but yeah just work at it a little bit this is the part that voids your warranty but uh, hopefully we don't run into any issues all right once you have that sticker off <clears throat> there's two screws um, where that where that sticker was on the side of the case, so we'll go ahead and remove those. And then one down at the bottom. Okay. And the, the panel just slides back. So we just do that to it, and it comes right off there. focus right, so you can just put the panel oh also um, if you're curious it has a lot of ventilation holes right there so it it's up in the air if I really did need another case fan but I wanted to move some air anyway so um, we're gonna go ahead and put that in so we'll flip it down and now we can kind of get an idea of what's in here there's the power supply it's a I do believe it's a, yeah, it's a 300 watt power supply in there. Let's take a closer look at what we got in here. So we got the one PCI Express um, 16X port right there. There's where the, um, right down here, that is the wireless card that's actually in a mini PCI X1 slot which I find interesting so we do have another slot there for RAM and the cable management is kind of a mess you do have to clip a well, actually you don't really have to do it but um, you can clean up that a little bit if you have some zip ties and right here are our four, two in use, but four SATA 6 gig um, connectors. So we'll take this RAM out of the, the case. Alright, so this is keyed. <clears throat> so one side is longer than the other. What you have to do is look down in there and 
see which side is shorter and line it up. It does have two clips, so make sure those are open um, before you go ahead and try to push this in. Just drop it in there once everything's lined up. Just give it a good firm push down and it'll clip in place. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's get our fan out. The fan does come with four screws in here. Let's take a look at this. I just dropped the screw. So white blades. And the direction of flow, which way it pushes the air, is labeled on the one side. So I want the air for this to be blowing out of the case. So we'll flip this around and line up the holes. These screws are self-tapping too, so they'll take a little bit of pressure to, to get them started, but once they're going, uh, they go in pretty easy. Once you have all four screws installed into the, the back of the fan, and the fan's nice and secure, um, there's a four pin he header right here, and this, this fan is actually a, th a three pin. So the way to plug this in is just line up the, uh, the space on the plug. I don't know if you can see that with that light, but that'll go over to the right side, so you'll use the, the uh, three pins on the right side of the connector. And I'll just slide right down on there and I'll click into place. And lastly, we're going to take the Samsung SSD out of the box. And this piece here, um, I'm kind of looking for a better solution on how to do this. You will need to find a screw that fits this drive properly. Um, so I did find one screw that I had lying around and that's going to have to do until um, I find a better solution, but they do make carriers that you can put this into and then slide it into this, um, three and a half inch slot there. So you don't have any wiggling around or anything like that. But for now, I'm just going to kind of put it in with one screw and, uh, it'll be good enough for now. I'm not exactly going to be moving this machine around too much. So we'll actually, um, Let's go ahead and hook up the let's go ahead and hook up the um, SATA cable and the power cable for this first. So I want to use the SATA cable that was originally hooked to the um, the drive that came with it. So I'm going to clip that into there, and then I'm going to hook the power up to it right here. Once that's done, I'm going to slide it in here and put a screw in it right where it's at. Line up that hole. Now that we have the SSD installed and connected both power and the data SATA cable, let's go ahead and take the um, additional SATA cable that I ordered and just plug it into the uh, top slot there, which would be number three, I believe. So that just slides in and then we'll connect that to the drive, the uh, one terabyte drive that used to be the OS drive. All these connectors are keyed, by the way, so if you just look at the plug and then look at, at the cable, um, they'll line up. There's only one way you can put them in, so make sure you have them in properly. 
So once that's done, let's go ahead and put the, the case back together. And just like we took it apart, um, put the two screws back in and we'll uh, go ahead and fire it up.